Today we are going to talk about the multiplication strategy of building an array to show how we multiply. And so I have two models on my screen that we are going to discuss and analyze today. And so you'll see that on the left side of my screen where my cursor is, we have an array that is going to represent the multiplication problem of five times seven. And so if you take this array, you'll notice that on um, going up and down or my column here, I have five, one, two, three, four, five. Going across in each row, I have seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if I take my marker, I'm going to make note of that. And I'm going to write a five on this side of the array. And then I'm going to write a seven on this side. And so looking at my text box and part of me, you'll see that again, I have five times seven. And so as we think about counting these, you can think about counting in groups, such as I have five groups of seven or have seven groups of five to get to your answer. Or you can count the individual pink boxes on the screen to get to the answer. And so because we often do skip counting in class, I'm going to have us count by five seven times to get our answer. So with me, if you could count out loud, that would be great. So we're going to go five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. And hopefully as you were thinking through that, you're thinking five, groups of seven or seven groups of five. And so our product, which is the answer to a multiplication problem is 35. Now, looking over at my second array, again, you'll notice that on in each column, I have one, two, three, four, and across in a row, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And so again, I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to label that. So I have four on my side, and then I have six across. Okay, so this time, instead of adding um, repeated groups or skip counting, it's going to be a little bit trickier. And so what I'm going to actually have us do is I'm going to have us think through um, how many are in each row and see if we can do actually repeated addition for this one. And so we think this is the first row and we have six in it. I'm going to write six to the side. And it's a little bit hard to use this marker on the screen. And then if we're thinking six and then there's another six, what's six plus six? Think about that mentally in your head. So hopefully you came up with the answer of six plus six equals 12. So I'm gonna write 12 as my new total. The first two rows have 12. Now, going to our third row, we have another six. So again, I'm going to add six more to that 12. So what's 12 plus six? Take a moment to think about that in your head. Hopefully you came to the answer of 18. And then finally, our last row, we're going to add one more group of six. So we have four groups of six. And we're going to think 18 plus 6 equals, think about that in your head. And then hopefully you came up with the answer of 24. As I switch over to my text box, I'm going to have us write the product of 24. Again, the answer to a multiplication equation is called a product. And so 4 times 6 is 24. Last week we talked about how multiplication is like addition in the sense that you can say four times six equals 24 or six times four equals 24. They are the same. And so my last little strategy for specifically this multiplication problem is we have a rhyme or kind of a song that we can think about as we say this one. And so I'm gonna model that six times four is 24. And so you'll notice I'm thinking six times four is 24. And so if you say that out loud, hopefully that'll help you as you memorize these multiplication facts. Thanks for listening.